we finally got the new Gojo Divine in Anime Fighters. Let's transform this guy into the strongest. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and like the video for free bow bugs. Yo, what up? F minus gang gang. You guys ready to become the strongest? Literally the strongest in anime fighters. At least that's what Gojo says. Yo, yes, know. that's right. We finally pulled the new hey, Gojo yeah, Divine. And take a look at this dude. Y'all see his sunglasses. You guys see his hair. Man, this guy is so hot. And he's also the strongest divine unit in the game. You guys remember the video we made yesterday? We basically have Asta here, level 4. 80 1.6 x damage this dude is absolutely killing it solid gold and monster passive however our asta you know as cool as he looks and even though he's 480 he's not actually the strongest base damage divine in the game gojo is actually way better we can go to our index right now you guys can see in our divines page if we scroll all the way down this right here is gojo at level one three 3.3k damage. It is no longer Judano. Judano is 2.9k. Our Gojo is about 15% stronger than Judano. And it took me about, I don't know, two days just to get one Gojo. It took a long time. However, you already know what we're doing for the video. Let's turn Gojo into the strongest unit in the game. Unfortunately, I only have one Gojo. I also pulled so many ghettos. Y'all see this? Look at my inventory. I probably have at least a hundred of these secret units. But even if we only have one Gojo, I can still turn this guy into something amazing. You guys have seen it before because he's a divine unit and because he has more damage than Asta. Even though he's not limit broken, I'm pretty sure we might be able to get around the same damage as uh, Asta over here. I guess the goal, let's try to get Gojo to level uh, 400. I think we can get him to like 470 and then we'll try to get a monster passive. And then in the next couple of days, if I happen to get two more Gojos, we can go ahead and limit break them for the video. But in order to make this guy as strong as possible, you know what we gotta do, guys. The first thing we always do is get the protagonist passive. Now, if we get lucky, we'll be able to pull protagonist with the remaining reroll tokens that we have. You see my mouse cursor at the bottom? We have 237 reroll tokens. Like I said, if we get lucky, I don't know if we get lucky. And this costs 50 shards. Oh my god, this is expensive. We're gonna use the tokens. We're only going for protagonist. Like I said, we are limited in what we can kind of do in the video, guys, because we don't have two other Gojos. However, I can still get this guy max level. I can still reroll off of Protagonist, and I can still try to pull maybe a monster passive. Try to get him as much damage as possible, even though my boy's not limit broken. Hopefully, it ends up working. There's only one way to find out. Plus, we can make him shiny, and we can still max out the talent kind of all right all right check me out we got protagonist and look at gojo's aura oh my gosh it's kind of like a light blue you can see it right there basically we can now get this guy to 470 oh remember God. the goal we're still going to try to make gojo stronger than our limited time divine asta and this so happens to be my strongest unit solid gold and monster it's not double monster but you know we did run out of reroll tokens and also we ran out of reroll tokens Tokens, at least the Requiem ones, trying to spin for Gojo's passive. But now, like I said, we got Protagonist. This is perfect. And this is better than the last video we did because we only have to get him to 470. That means I do not have to feed our Asta into nice. our Gojo. I don't know what world I would ever do that, but if I tried to do it, I would get him to 470. Thankfully, I do not have to do this because I can just incubate Gojo because... Well, it's only 470. 470 is not that difficult to get. So right now, let's head over to the incubator machine. Let's go level up our Gojo. Once we get our Gojo to level 470, all we gotta do, guys, is reroll off of the passive again. Here's the incubator. Let's go put our Gojo inside of here. We're gonna go ahead and max the level, incubate him. Oh, man. So right now, is at 427, 441. Dang, this is pretty fast. However, you guys already know we can go even faster. <laughs> yeah, All you really have to do is probably equip Chief Mate over here. Maybe use a uh, time boost potion. Go to your teams. Equip your time team. Do a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And it's even faster to level them up. Because level cap in the game is 460. With protagonist, 470. Just trying to show you guys a little something something. Give me about 5 minutes. Not even 5 minutes. Just give me like 2 minutes. 
this guy will be like level 470 and that's how you guys pull it off in anime fighters if i asked you guys right now would you say gojo's the strongest let's go ahead and take a look at him 470 whoa incubator level 230 you guys know we maxed this out and it only took maybe about 30 minutes maybe an hour it was quick it was fast all we got to do is withdraw him now he's now the max level in the game now remember what I said, he's not limit broken, so you can kind of consider this part one. And then part two, we're gonna limit break this dude. I mean, all we're trying to do right now is just try to get him as strong as possible. Here's our Gojo, 470, 140 Y damage. Damn, that's pretty strong. After Y, it goes to X. Now, depending on Gojo's talent, if it's like really, really low, we can get monster on this dude and break 1x damage already, guys. And this dude is only level 470. That's the craziest part about it, guys. He's only 470. Actually, we might be able to break 1x damage. I just realized he's not even shiny yet. Oh my gosh. Good thing we didn't make him shiny earlier because it would have taken longer to level him up. So, let's go make him shiny right now. Let's go max out his talent. Here we go, y'all. Pray for F- minus that this works. You know, when you have non-shiny divines, they're just about as easy to level up as shiny secrets. How many fruits are we gonna use? I feel like for Gojo, we should use 69, and it's still a 97% chance. I don't think it's gonna blow up. Let's go put him inside of the machine, though. When it's successful, we're gonna go ahead and take him, and then we'll go reroll the passive again, and then we'll, you know, max his talent out. Damn, he looks hot. He looks so hot, guys. Let's go take a look. No way he's stronger. 250 Y. Oh, damn. What kind of aura does... <gasps> Yo, look at his aura. Oh, my gosh. We showed this in the update video. One of my friends had it. It's like light blue aura plus his eyes. They kind of glow now. So cool. He doesn't really have a blindfold anymore. He looks like Toji pretty much. Except, uh, like I said, I mean, he looks a lot cooler. Let's go ahead and max out his talent now. Now, maxing out our Gojo's talent is a really big part of the video. Depending on Gojo's talent, we can break 1x. Currently has 250y, and he's not even 480. So I'm guessing negative talent? I don't know if it is. Oh no, he already has max talent in the game, guys. Base damage is 10. Because he's not limit broken, I only can keep it at 10. Ultimate damage, 10. Attack speed, 10. Movement speed, let's also get it to 10 and upgrade him. Now, he still has the same base damage, but his ultimate damage a little bit better, his attack speed just a little bit better. All we gotta do now is just re-roll off of that protagonist passive. We can try to go for monster, you know, try to get the, like, if we go for monster, you guys know what I mean, right? Like, this dude is going to absolutely maul it. He's not gonna be as strong as Asta as of right now. However, because Asta's level 480 and limit broken, in the next part, we get this guy to 480. He'll make Asta look like a joke. So, let's go reroll some passes. You know, part of doing these videos, sometimes you just do what you gotta do. We actually need rerolls. So, we're farming dungeon right now. I also have my full team equipped. We got Baki with double flaming. And then that thing, this Baki right here has crew leader. Our Asta with monster and also solid gold passive. Plus, we have our non-limit broken Gojo. Everything's dying pretty easily. Just showing you guys a little something something inside of the dungeon. All we gotta do is just equip our drops team though. And then, you know, start attacking the treasure chest inside of here. Dang, we got kind of lucky with this. Dang, we got three treasure chests. That's how you guys pull it off. Yeah, there's Gojo. And then we just collect everything on the screen. Damn. Oh my goodness. Damn. <laughs> we got a bunch of stuff right there. Rerolls. And we got some Requiem tokens. Basically, what I'm going to do now is just complete this dungeon. Do like one Infinity Tower. Get enough rerolls. And then let's go reroll off of Protagonist for our Gojo. Let's go finish up the video. So like I said, y'all, this is kind of like part one of the Gojo Divine video. We already have a Gojo with 470. He has Protagonist. And if I get two more Gojos, I can limit break him. However, getting this Gojo took me about two days. So you can already expect, man, it's gonna, it's gonna take me until like Thursday or Friday in order to get the next two Gojos. So with that said, we're just gonna reroll off of Protagonist. Even if I keep Protagonist on there, it's literally going to take forever for me to get the other two Gojos. For the purpose of the video, we're gonna roll reroll off of it. And then the next video we do, we're gonna have to reroll back on Protagonist. I'm just letting you guys know right now what we're doing. 
So I guess we're just gonna go ahead and token reroll it. Say goodbye to that protagonist. Bye, have a great time. We just rerolled off of it. Now we're going for monster, god passive, light speed. I wanna try to go for sorcerer three. Is that a thing, guys? You get, you know, sorcerer three mythical passive on Gojo. It kind of makes sense, right? He is the strongest sorcerer. And then besides that, I don't think there's anything else that we need. Maybe we can get a secret passive. I'm going for any one of them. And plus, we have like almost 500 Requiem tokens. Let's pray right now. Let's see if we get that passive we need for the video, guys. All right, not even a couple of rerolls in. We managed to get Sorcerer 3. Now, that doesn't mean I'm keeping it for the video, guys. Or maybe I will. I just want to show you. Hey, we got Sorcerer 3. It kind of lines up. Gojo, he's a sorcerer. Apparently, the strongest sorcerer. So, we got Sorcerer 3. All we got to do now is kind of test him out and... Ooh, man, my boy's looking fire. He's looking amazing. The damage is not really looking that good. 210 wide, but he's not limit broken. Let's go test him out, though, in the last map of the game. All right, so we're going to go ahead and try attacking some enemies. This is the first one, Sorcerer. It's like a one-tap. Okay, not too bad. What if we start killing some other enemies? Damn, this is a one-tap. He's about as strong as Ghetto, and I think we... We don't have ghetto anymore, but if I type it in here, curse, we can also, for the video, equip one of our curses right here. So, we not only have Gojo, we also have Curse Devourer, so that's kind of nice. And then Corrupt the Sorcerer, one hit KO, one hit KO, what about this dude? Golden Corrupt the Sorcerer, one hit KO? Okay, it's not too bad, this guy's really strong. Uh, what about this guy, Cursed Earth, right before Gojo gets to him, dead. Alright, so there's one more boss, the Volcano Dude. Let's go take a look at him. 249X. How well is Gojo going to take him out? Oh, one hit to uh, get his ability. Yo, okay. So this is the iconic duo right here. On the right side, you have Ghetto. On the left side, you have Gojo. Gojo with the Sorcerer 3. Ghetto is just a normal Ghetto. He's not really doing any damage at all. I'm just showing you guys. Dang, those attack effects are looking pretty damn cool on Gojo. Now, all we gotta do is try to reroll the passive again, and they finally took him out. Let's see if we can get something better than Sorcerer 3. Oh my gosh, y'all. We just pulled the God passive on Gojo. And we still have 200 rerolls left. Let's go. Let's get it. We have done it. So, that's kind of weird. We got God passive on Gojo. So, I guess he's the strongest god now. 390 Why? You can consider this the second best passive in the game before Crew Leader. So, I guess we can go ahead and equip him. Damn! Look at Gojo. He has, like, the black and white passive. Plus, he has his own aura, like a light blue. And I called him now the strongest. I know right now, uh, currently in terms of base damage, he's not the strongest, especially when you compare it to Asta 1.6x. Gojo 390Y. However, this is pretty damn good. Let's go test out his damage now in the time chamber. See how well he does against the time lord. Now, we're not going for anything specific. I just wanted to see with the god passive, how many hits does it take to get Gojo's ultimate off? And I think it's going to be about two. So let's just go ahead and send him out to attack. One hit, two hits. Dang, plus he got the attack speed bonus. Oh, yeah, look at that right there. No domain expansion. But looks like he does red. At least it looks like it's red. It doesn't even look like hollow purple. Hey, yes, sir. You guys already know. Now, this is going to be part one of the i guess like mini series part two is where we get two more gojos oh uh, god willingly and then we limit break them get double protagonist and then try to roll double god again but i feel like for this video is pretty solid 390y you could say he's about four times weaker than asta but he's missing 10 levels and he's not limit broken so that's pretty damn good i would say hopefully you guys enjoyed the video though really do appreciate your guys support and until next time guys i'll see you in the next video